The mere thought of a cellular network failure sends shivers down our spines. It's not just about missing out on social media updates or not being able to stream our favorite shows. It's about the potential breakdown of essential communication channels during critical times. In this informative video, learn the importance of being prepared for such eventualities and discuss alternative forms of communication that can keep us connected in the absence of cellular networks. Preparation is key to overcoming the challenges posed by a cellular network failure. It's crucial to understand that while our reliance on smartphones and cellular networks has grown exponentially, these are not the only avenues through which we can communicate. Planning ahead and familiarizing ourselves with alternative communication methods, we can ensure that we remain connected, especially during emergencies. Landline phones. Yes, considered relics of the past, landline phones can be lifesavers during cellular network outages. They do not rely on the same infrastructure as cellular networks and are less likely to be affected by the same issues that cause cellular failures. Keeping a basic landline connection can provide a crucial backup communication method. Satellite phones. For those in remote areas or where cellular coverage is unreliable, satellite phones offer a direct link to global satellite networks, ensuring communication capabilities even when traditional networks fail. Yes, more expensive, they are an invaluable tool for emergency responders and those in critical roles. Two-way radios, also known as walkie-talkies, Two-way radios provide a simple and effective means of short-range communication. They are especially useful in localized environments, such as event venues, construction sites, or outdoor activities where cellular networks are unnecessary or unavailable. Internet-based communication. In scenarios where the internet is accessible but cellular networks are down, VOIP, voice over internet protocol, services, email, and social media platforms can serve as alternative communication channels. Services like WhatsApp, Skype, and Zoom rely on internet connectivity and can facilitate both voice and video calls. Ham radio, amateur radio, or ham radio has been a reliable method of communication for over a century, especially in disaster scenarios. Ham radio operators can transmit messages across long distances without relying on the internet or cellular networks. This method requires a license but it's an invaluable skill and resource during widespread network failures. In addition to these technological solutions, it's also vital to acknowledge the role of non-digital communication methods. Simple strategies such as having a physical list of important contact information, establishing a family emergency plan, and knowing your local emergency services and meeting points can significantly enhance your preparedness for a communication blackout. Leveraging community networks and local resources is another crucial aspect of preparedness. Many communities have emergency communication plans that include designated meeting places and community leaders or ham radio operators who can relay information. Familiarizing yourself with these plans and participating in community drills can increase your resilience to network failures.